welcome back to my channel. How are you doing? Today I am going to be talking about the parallels between the unfold the infernal devices and the mortal instruments. Because it turns out though there's quite a few of them. And I'm going to be talking about 25 of them, to be exact. The 25 I can co could come up with. Spoilers for the entire Mortal Instruments series and the entire Infernal Devices series, there are so many parallels between Tessa and Clary. This is obviously explained in uh, City of Heavenly Fire, but Clary Frey and Tessa Gray, they're like the same thing. In the beginning of the series, both of them have missing family members. Both of them have awful brothers. Both of them have scandalous relationships. One is dating her brother, and the other one is kind of in love with two people at once. No, she is in love with two people at once. And also, Warlock slash Shadowhunter. Both of them are in love triangles, like Simon, Jace, Clary, and obviously Jem Tessa. Both of them are in love with Herondales. And they both end up being with a Herondale in the end. Both of them have special powers, or maybe wicked powers, that they didn't know about and that can't be explained or can be explained by angel blood they never knew about. Because you know, Tessa is part Shadowhunter. Both accidentally break one of their lovers' hearts by being with the other one. Because you know, Clary breaks Simon's heart without knowing that Simon liked her because she was kissing Jace, and then um, Tessa broke Will's heart because she didn't know that Will loved her, but she already said yes to marrying Jem. Both come from the human world to an institute. Both are rescued by the Herondale that they end up with. Both of them grew up not knowing their actual father. Both of them didn't know that they were not mundanes. They didn't even know what the word mundane meant. They just thought, you know, they were just human and that that's all they could be. Clary and Jace and Tessa and Will get sexy at the worst possible moment, right when they're going to die and a day before the big battle. Simon and Jem both make sacrifices that cause them to be separated from the people that they love most. Both Jace and Will think that they're bad people, but aren't. And there's lots of similarities between the different enemies too. Like Sebastian and Mordmain, they both crave companionship. Both Sebastian and Mordmain don't think that their crimes can be redeemed or forgiven. Both Sebastian and Mordmain create their own anti-shadow hunters. Sebastian with the Infernal Cup and Mordmain with his, you know, Infernal Devices. Both Valentine and Mordmain want to create a new, better type of shadow hunter. Like, remember, Valentine steals the Mortal Cup and, like, wants people to drink from it, and Mordmain with Tessa and whatever species she is. And there's actually quite a few similarities between Jessamine and Isabel. Like, they both have a similar attitude toward the main character in the beginning, but Jessamine is kind of Isabel gone wrong. And they, both Jessamine and Isabel, have, like, nicknames that end with E, like Izzy and Jesse. And the end of both the Infernal Devices and the Mortal Instruments have miracles when it comes to Brother Zachariah. And both series end with a beloved mundane ascending. And in the epilogue, the boy that was lost, you know, Jem in the Infernal Devices and Simon in the Mortal Instruments, came back more whole than ever. And in both series, the enemy is destroyed by Heavenly Fire. And yeah, that's about it. So if you guys like this video, you can push the thumbs up button because you all know what happens if you don't push the thumbs up button. Yeah, neither do I, but you can still push it anyways. Uh, I have uh, many, uh, many videos about the uh, Mortal Instruments and the whole Shadowhunter world, so you can click the I to see some of them. And yeah, you can push the subscribe button, try and get me to 20 subscribers, share this video with your friends. Uh, if you have any other parallels that you thought of, you can put them in the comments down below. And yeah, that's about it. So yeah, I guess I'll go. Bye. That actually was my outro because I couldn't really think about another outro. It wasn't my intro though.